In this video, I want to go into more tips on how you can leverage the ability to manage your app data or, you know, basically the, it's the ability to do your search as built into the library. So if I do a search for, say, inspirational, hopefully I spelled that right, uh, then I get a bunch of different, and not only do I get uh, images, but I also get uh, some music that goes with it. And of course, if I had video that was uh, inspirational, also it had that keyword, it would show up here as well. So what I want to do is um, whatever I have in my personal library, I want to optimize for these keyword searches whenever I have downtime. So this is something that I, if you've watched my Explain to You course, uh, for example, I like to really recommend that you do what you can to optimize your personal library. Um, we do offer some free assets in the bonus area, and um, I'll be taking, uh, I've, I've, I'll show you how I've kind of dealt with those. But I've got two folders here. This is uh, footage that I've bought from Stock uh, Video Hive, for example. I downloaded all of it, um, and uh, this is the, the um, audio that I downloaded from it. So these are just um, from Video Hive. I'm sorry, from uh, Audio Jungle, which is part of the same network. And um, I'm adding that to my library of, of other assets that I've already done. So let me just kind of give you a few tips on doing that. So first of all, you want to use the map uh, manage app data. And when this pop-up comes up, do pay attention to it. Please do read it. Please understand it. It's very important. So once I hit OK, uh, basically it's telling you do not name, rename this, remove it. Uh, put it in a different folder or anything like that, or this is not going to work. So you really do need to make sure that this is in a, 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 a the same place. Now, when you update and make get new versions of the, uh, ben, you, it's going to be looking for that in the same spot. So you won't have to worry about uh, whether or not these are going to be available to you. This is in your application support folder or, or for whatever the PC equivalent is. Um, so you want to make sure that that's there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double click into that. And then I have really the, the folders that I'm uh, interested in are the audio backgrounds. These are static images and then video. So, for example, in the audio, I've got a couple of folders here. And these are really based on my personal way of working. I normally am looking for inspirational audio backgrounds or upbeat. And so uh, really the difference is if I'm really trying to upbeat, kind of create, it's a different mood, I'm, you know, more take action oriented stuff. Inspirational might be a little bit more in the uh, tutorial oriented stuff or, or something. So it, it depends on the mood. Now, you can have more moods. Um, we have in the, in the bonus files, you'll see that we have different uh, categories like blues and uh, stuff like that. So you, country, I think, or whatever it is, um, rock. And so you could have those folders, but you know, I, I recommend that you make it specific to what you do. Um, and so I know that I need inspirational um, and upbeat stuff. So these are my audio files here. So let me just kind of point out, this is how I tend to work. What I tend to do is I want to keyword these. I want to um, give them a name that's going to make it easy to find them in the future. So you see, I've actually got one up. I did this one already and I've already put it in there. So I've just opened this Troublemaker one up and you can use whatever player that you have. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna audition about 20, 15, 20 seconds of this and get a sense of what's in it so I can give it some good keywords. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It starts, they tend to start slow. That's why I listen to a little bit more. It's got a little bit of a guitar there. And then, I don't know, that's kind of a xylophone. And let's just see if anything else comes in, just a little bit more. In fact, what you can do after that is you can just zoom ahead. So it's very playful, fun. So I would probably, it's got kind of a, that twangy sound, like a Jews harp, I think is what that is. Wing. Okay, so I, I have a sense of what that is. And, and so what I would tend to do is I would, I think that that feels a little bit more upbeat. So I'm gonna put that in my upbeat folder. I'm just gonna drag it in there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna um, add some keywords. Troublemaker, since I, I know that it has that name, I might remember that. So if I do a search for trouble or troublemaker, that'll help if I'm, if I'm looking for this one in particular. But I'm going to go ahead and add xylophone. Um, let's do twang, playful, fun, um, you know, or fun. Uh, funny is good. I can do both. 
Um, and let's do uh, guitar. There was a, I think there was some guitar in there. So that gives me a few things to, to do. I think that most most likely I would do playful and troublemaker or something like that to find this particular one. Uh, just thinking ahead in the future. But I, what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this is not you know tomorrow. I'm thinking about a month, two months from now. What when when I'm like when I've gotten away from this and I'm in a situation where I need to do this quick. What's the most likely thing I'm going to be searching for? So I try to think that way when I'm making my keywords um, for my own personal library. So I'm going to come back out here and I'm just going to come to the video section and kind of the same uh, basic idea. What um, One thing I find, in particular in Video Hive stock, they do most of theirs in QuickTime MOV, which is really not ideal. Um, I wish they did an MP4. The file sizes, first of all, in MP4 are a lot smaller. Look at this. I, I converted this. This is the same. These two are the same video. This one's 75 megabytes, and this one's only two. So it definitely pays to convert them to MP4. Um, you know, some professional, uh, very picky people might be able to see the difference, but I think it'd be very rare, particularly if you're going to do social media oriented stuff. Just people aren't going to notice the difference, um, especially the, the, the overwhelming majority of non, you know, creative professionals uh, that would see it. Right. So, anyways, I'm going to come. This this is a, a a person in this video. Let's go ahead and I'll just preview this video. Also, it's a pretty funny one, and it's just a guy yawning, and it's kind of funny and exaggerated and you know designed I think to be comical. I should have used comical. In fact, I'm going to put that in there. So, I did put some keywords already in there. Uh, you know, suit, tired, yawn. You know, just stuff that I think, again, that will help me remember it. And then I can just put it in my folder of other assets. And so um, that's, you know, that's really the, the thing about that is, is that if I have an asset that I think, you know, there's a good chance I might need it in the future. You know, I would recommend that you go ahead and keyword and put it in your library that you can so you can keyword and find it. And so that once you are kind of I'm, if I'm in a situation, oh, um, let, me, and let me give you a final tip here, by the way. Sorry for the Facebook messages. Um, what you know, what I want to do after I've done stuff like this is I, I do need to either restart the program or you can just re, um, restore it or um, uh, uh, you know close and open it again. But a keyboard shortcut is Command R or Control R, and that's just going to load everything again. And in addition, it's going to basically go and look for that folder where the assets are and just kind of update it so it knows to look for that. And so now if I do a search, say, for business, right, it's going to come up with uh, both. Uh, I've got a business image here, and I've got that video that I just added. And, you know, similarly, if I can do, I remember, let's do, do trouble. And it's going to find troublemaker, even though it's only partial keyword there. So it's going to find that stuff. So that's, you know, basically uh, how you can really make your the library, the searchable library, your own is really used here. So you don't have to install the assets via the import thing. You can just open this up and then go into the relevant folder that you want, make your own names and so forth. Let's say that, for example, in the backgrounds, a, they, you know, you didn't really want to have Animal One or, you know, or you wanted to combine these. Maybe you feel like couple and family could go together. Um, I've got a lot of images in there, so I'm thinking I won't do that. But, you know, there might be something here. Here we go. We got relationship, which is not, hasn't had very many, and couples, which has actually quite pl plenty. So I'm, I'm probably not going to combine them. Try not to put too many in one folder. But you can do that sort of thing. You know, let's say that you have um, here. Here we have family. Again, that's there's got plenty. I was I was thinking maybe I could put kids in there with that or so and so forth. You know, you can just make them again your own and just optimize it for what you need to do uh, with your assets. Whether you've gotten them through the bonuses on uh, Kinetic Text Animator uh, or you know any of the offers that I've I've been offering and some of the keyworded add-ons. Or you know your assets again that you've you have yourself uh, that you pictures that you've taken with your own phone, uh, music that you've made, all that kind of stuff. You can make it your own and make your library using uh, the built-in manage app data uh, feature inside of Kinetic Text Animator.